me see who all we got on here. Mike check. Mike check. Hey. Let's play some music in this joint. Let's wake up. Let's get hyped. It's Friday night. For those of you that was uh, kind of bored, got it in earlier, and you just chilling, hey, I welcome you. I welcome you. Let's get hype. Let's let's play some of this trade music. We getting paid, we getting paid, we getting paid, huh? Stacking that money, stacking that money from the trades, huh? I really do this, I really do this, I really trade, bro. Hit the markets for a milli, then I'm laying low. Like a pro, like a pro. Yeah, I'm trading like a pro. Like a pro, like a pro. Taking profit like a pro. Like a pro, time to let them know. Bank on the phone, no, I don't need a loan. Cause I'm trading like a pro. We getting paid, we getting paid, we getting paid, huh? Stacking that money, stacking that money from the trades, huh? Hey, we getting paid, we getting paid, we getting paid, huh? I'ma teach you how to trade. Like I'ma teach girl. you how to trade. Set and forget it. Set and forget Baby, it. go handle your business. Get off the charts. Why you be tripping? Why you be tripping? Maybe you would get paid if you came, sat, and listened. But they be on my page, still broke and be dissing. I don't get it. I gotta bank the break. Ooh, yeah. You already know. I went to London. Now it's time to hit up Tokyo. Or maybe fly to Mexico. That peso it be hitting. When I find a higher low, that Fibonacci got me lit. Hey, now I'm hey, back up hey. in the city. Yeah. Teaching you the game. I lace the people up, get the bag, not the fame. Yeah, they say I chase the fortune, I just pray the double portion. Better put your time in, back tested, that's important. When they see you making money, they hate and try to extort you. Scammers be in the group, get it too, watch me poach them. Acting like they be me on IG, I don't know them. And they can't tear down my name, cause I really chase the game. Whoa. Like a pro, like a pro, yeah, I'm trading like a pro, like a pro, like a pro. Bro. They can profit like a pro Like a pro, time to let them know Bank on the phone, no I don't need a loan Cause I'm trading like a pro We getting paid, we getting paid, we getting paid, huh Stacking that money, stacking that money from the trades, huh hey, We getting paid, we getting paid, we getting paid, huh Stacking that money, I'ma teach you how to trade like, like a pro, pro Like a pro, yeah I'm trading like a pro Like a pro, like a pro They can profit like a pro Like a pro, Time to let them know Bank on the phone, no I don't need a loan Cause I'm trading like a pro We getting paid, we getting paid, we getting paid, huh Stacking that money, stacking that money from the trades, huh hey, We getting paid, we getting paid, we getting paid, huh Stacking that money, I'ma teach you how to trade like a pro Hey, what's good, people? What's good, all my family? Hey, I know it's a Friday night. Some of us is busy. Some of us is getting it in. And some of us got it in earlier. Now we chilling at the crib with the fam. And you guys just chilling on the phone, watching YouTube videos. And I'm just trying to show you some love on a Friday night. You feel me? So um, what I'm doing is I'm just playing a little bit of music. I'm trying to let people come in because I did not advertise this stream whatsoever. I did not advertise it. I didn't promote it. So it's not going to be a lot of people. So please share the video. I'm just trying to give you guys a couple more minutes, like three more minutes for people to come in and get the notifications. YouTube is sometimes slow on giving notifications. Please share this on Facebook. Please share it. But I'm just trying to give you give people like a couple more minutes and we going to dive into this. This is a very important video you guys need to watch. All right. So please share. Please like this video as you're coming in and we're going to get right to it. Let me give you a couple more minutes. All right. Tick, 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 take profits on the move. The movement is real. Yeah. Pips a day, watch the money drip. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Fifty pips a day, watch the money drip. Fifty pips a day, watch the money drip. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Pips pay my bills. Yeah, fifty pips a day, that's what we catch. 
catching Joe, we trade and get paid. That's how we live in yo. Trading is the new hustle. Take it to the hood and hustle. You ain't gotta sell drugs no more. Trade for a year, buy you a home. Making money as a team, we don't trade alone. Held a trade for a week, 20k from the phone. You can earn while you learn. We gon' teach you the game. I ain't male, gon' compensate. Cheering status is on its way. I know you see us out state to state. We really out here making waves. Pray before I start the day. 2 a.m. waking up the trade. London Sessions got the biggest banks. Making deals like Shark Tank. We bless the city in Jesus' name. I build the kingdom, I don't want the fame. I want it free, that's why I trade. I'm not a nine to five slave, I broke out the cage. They try to give you just enough to keep your mind trained. So who you put your trust in? I'm rapping Jesus' name. 50 pips a day, watch the money drip. 50 pips a day, watch the money drip. Pips pay my bills, pips pay my bills, pips pay my bills, pips pay my bills. Bills. Basketball could have paid the bills, but we chose the pimp route. You feel me? Hey, so all right, let's get it popping. We got a few people in here. Um, we got a few people in here. All right, how everybody doing, man? Well, shout out to Kim Stewart. What's up? I got my co my chats right here, my comments. So, comment away, and um, I'm looking at them and I'm answering the comments. All right. So, uh, let's see here. So when I'm looking, when I'm looking down, I'm looking at the comments. All right. So thank y'all for supporting um, the music video. Pips pay my bills, y'all. It was a lot of love with that. Shout out to everybody that's supporting Trade Like a Pro. Y'all show massive amount of love with that song as well. Thank you. Um, I used to do music. But I stopped doing it because I started trading Forex and I made like a lot of money trading Forex. But I was helping more people when I was doing Forex more than I was helping people doing the music. So it was a no brainer to me. I was doing concerts. I was traveling around here and there all through the summertime. But I wasn't helping as many people as I'm helping now trading Forex, teaching people how to trade Forex. So I switched my career over to forex and honestly i just didn't like i didn't like the music industry behind the scenes forex there's no politics involved either you can trade or you can't there is no oh i gotta be with these group of people for me to make it i gotta be with this click for me to be known ain't no politics in forex either you can make it and trade and actually make profits or you can't Cut and dry. So drop me some fire emojis if y'all understand what I'm saying. Somebody said I should write lyrics on uh, 618 Golden Fibonacci number. Hey, I should do a song on Golden Zones? I don't know. I can't. It can't be corny, though. It can't be corny. Rap about the Golden Zones? Uh, maybe. 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 Shout out to Shy town Who in the building? Shy town What's up, baby? Shy town Jamaica. Yeah, man. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. I love y'all. Um, who else up in here? Vanessa B. What's up? Mark T. Avery Rice. What's up, baby? 
Watching from the Philippines. The Filipinos. Hey, I love y'all. All right. So my son is the moderator. Hey, if you see any scammers or people talking reckless, man, get them out of here. Louisiana in the building. Avery Rice, you know that's where I'm born. I'm born from Shreveport, Louisiana. That's my home. Say, I ain't no Jeffrey Wright trade 4X. Shout out from London. Yup. So look. Um, all right. Today. Today we're talking about back testing. Okay, look. In over the weekend, I'm just I'm just basically like giving y'all a glimpse of what I do on the weekends. Look. Look, y'all. I'm not trying to be an average trader all right i'm super hype right now look i'm not trying to be that average trader the average little joe trader that's not me i'm trying to be one of the best i know i'm probably not gonna be the best because there's actually good traders out there but i'm gonna be one of the best and in order to be one of the best you gotta do what other people are not doing you feel me? You got to be what other people are not doing. When other people is partying on the weekends, I'm grinding. I'm in the charts because, look, that's how I built my account up. I was studying four hours a day. I was grinding. I don't study four hours a day anymore, but I back test my strategies and my rules all the time. And a little bit throughout the weekend, I'm back testing. I'm back testing. And I'm just basically giving you guys a glimpse. Now, I'm not always back testing on a Friday night. Sometimes I'm out playing golf. Sometimes I'm, uh, you know, doing some other things with the family. I might be going out to eat with my wife. Um, I might be at the at the gun r shooting range. Like today, I was at the shooting range with my son. We was uh, shooting uh, our guns or whatever. So, you know, but. I wanted to do it tonight. I felt like I wanted to help the people tonight with back testing. So, um, shout out to Trinidad in the house. What's up, Trinidad? So, what did what did y'all do? What did what did y'all get into today? Comment below. Like, what what did y'all get into? Like, how was y'all Friday? Was it was it smooth? Yep. Was it? Well, how was y'all Friday? So we working smooth trade. Okay. Um, I'm running. Yep. Um, actually did some reading on penny stocks. Um, I went, I went to the gun range with my son earlier. Um, yeah, we went to the gun range. I bought a couple, um, guns. I bought a HK VPN. I mean a VP nine. I bought a Springfield um what is it called a springfield 40 40 caliber it is a, a xdm that's what i bought so um green tea i don't do i'm not on telegram anymore i am not on telegram anymore all right um too many scammers on telegram now too many scammers on WhatsApp. I'm not on Telegram. All of that. I'm done with all of that. If you want to find me, find me on my website. Trend Trading. It's, uh, where is it at? It's right here. Trendtrading.academy. All right. So that's where it's at. But yeah, I was just chilling with the family. I was chilling with my son, teaching my son how to shoot. And uh, check, check it out real quick. Check it out. Thank you. 
I got that VP9. Now this boy right here, Springfield XDM40. Let's go. Hey, what's up team? All right, look. <laughs> Hey, somebody said, why no sideways shooting? <laughs> shooting like Smokey. Bat, 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 bat. <laughs> shooting like Smokey. What's up on my 40, homie? Bat, bat. Look. Nah, we don't shoot like that. We bow. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, shout out to... Hey, I ain't know people was... uh. I ain't know people was in uh from jail watching. Hey, hey, shout out to y'all, man. Hey. Hey, I'ma lace y'all up because you know what? We ain't gotta sell drugs no more. We can trade for a year, buy me a home. You feel me? You can trade for a year, buy you a home. Hey, trading is the new hustle. Take it to the hood and hustle. You ain't gotta sell drugs no more. Trade for a year, buy you a home. Making money as a team, we don't trade alone. Held a trade for a week, 20K from the phone. Come on, man. Trading is the new hustle. Trading is the new hustle. You feel me? That's the next song. Trading is the new hustle. Have, have shirts made. Trading is the new hustle. You can't tell me that ain't fire, man. That's what I'm up on. So look. Anyways, without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So, um, can I get mentorship from you this coming week? Um, Galen, if you guys want mentorship, right here. Right, where is it at? Right here. Trend Trading Academy. If you want mentorship, this is where you go. Um, if you want trade setups every single day, Monday through Thursday, um, sometimes on Friday, this is where you go. If you want to be taught how to trade, this is where you go. Um, all of the haters and all of them, hey, look, they they not on here grinding. They not on here. People not on here doing live trades. I'm calling out live trades on YouTube. I got a whole playlist of calling out live trades. I ain't, I ain't caring about none of these trolls. They don't phase me because I know what I built is built on integrity and it's a firm foundation. People just want to use my name to get clout cuz I changed the whole game. They just want to they just want to speak my name cuz when they say, when they type in Jay Wayne and make a video on me, people going to watch. But it's not about that. You guys don't appreciate that. What you guys appreciate is realness. Real recognize real. So all these other YouTubers that's trying to come on here and calling out shots they they missing the point. You guys don't care about the drama. Forex is already enough drama. Forex already has enough drama going on in it, period. And then they want to make more YouTube videos talking about other traders that's full of drama and gossip. Please. You guys don't need that. Forex is already tough. We need positivity. We need to be lifting each other up. And you know what? You know what the real problem is? If these other so-called uh, uh, YouTube traders got a problem with people that ain't trading right, why don't they call them up? 
Why don't they message them and say, yo, let's have a Zoom meeting. Let's tighten up our skills together. You see what I'm saying? These guys phony. They phony. They phony. You see what I'm saying? Why don't the other people that have problems with other traders, why don't they go DM them, message them? Even do a shout out on their channel and say, yo, if you watching my video or if y'all if y'all his fans, tell them to get at me because I want to do a one on one with them. I want to do a zoom and we can like iron sharpen iron brother sharpen the brother. You feel me? Trader sharpen another trader. But it's, they don't want to do that. They don't want to do that because they want drama. Hey, I got the vest on. What it say? What it say? What it say? Glory is coming. What it say? Bring the war. Bring the war. Let's go. Bring the war. Because you don't want it with me. You don't want it with me. And matter of fact, you guys are, the, the, them haters and trolls is below me. That's why I don't even make videos about them. Because they below me. You feel me? They below me. I ain't calling out no names because they dumpster juice. They bums. They dumpster juice. They not even trash. They dumpster juice. So, man, miss me with that. I'm on here to help the people. And if you guys ain't trying to help the people, then pass me on by. Move out my way because I'm here to help the people. All right, cool. So let's get into it. All right. So let's see. Let's go to the charts. Now, um, now, is there anything that you guys want to back test? All right, let's get let's get back focus. All right. Is there anything you want to back test that you want me to show you how to back test? Comment below. All right. Any strategy? Comment below. Any strategy that you have and you want me to show you how to back test it. I want to help you guys. All right, the first one I saw was moving average crossover. All right, that's the first one I saw. So let's do moving average crossover. Then the second one I saw was hidden divergence. And then the other one I saw was head and shoulders, okay? Head and shoulders, moving average crossover. Fibs, I see fibs. Let's do fibs. Um, I see retests. All right. Uh, let me see. 920 MA crossover. Um, I see using fib retracement from breakouts okay i see you i see you bollinger bands i see bollinger bands okay um and that's enough that's enough that's enough because that's that's more than enough all right guys so what i'm about to do right now i'm i cannot look at the chats right now okay i'm gonna go into the charts and uh and actually show you guys what i'm looking at so let's pull up some charts here. Let's look at some charts. Um, let's see. Here. I'm trying to find some charts on the screen here. Hold on one second. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to find some charts. Give me one second while I pull up these charts. <clears throat> All right, give me one second here. Um, so yeah, we're gonna look at. I'm trying to. I'm trying to see why my charts is not pulling up. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Oh, here it is. Boom, the charts is up, baby. All right, so we got the charts up. 
everything is good all right hopefully y'all can see my charts all right cool so what we about to do is somebody said back test the moving averages all right what moving that the first person said what uh the first person said moving averages what moving average do you want me to, to do i saw nine and twenty was the first one nine and twenty was the first one so let's do nine and twenty now this is going to show us when you when, when you have something you want to try i'm gonna do exponential exponential moving average and we're gonna do nine and nine and twenty i guess unless you tell me otherwise the person that said 9 and 20, that was the first one. So let's do 9 and 20. Is the 20 a SMA or an EMA? Is the 9 and 20 uh SMA? Is it a SMA or an EMA? Is the 20. So the 20 is white. And we're going to make it big so we can see it. Not that big. All right. 9 and 20 EMA. Okay. All right. So we're just going to do the EMAs. Hopefully, hopefully that'll work for you. And then the blue line is going to be the 9. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find what trading time or session you want to try to send do you see how i got this chart each candle represents one hour okay each candle represents one hour so i i if you guys are day traders and scalpers i want you to back test on the one hour chart the reason why i want you to back test on a one hour chart is because the one hour will let, allow you to see what happens on the daily because 24 candles represent one day but also the one hour chart will help you um well you can kind of still see what the 15 minute candles are doing by looking at the wicks so the one hour chart gives you the best of both worlds when you're back testing if you are a swing trader you should be back testing on the daily if you are a swing trader because the daily will give you what's happening on the, the, the weekly and the month, but it will also allow you to see four hour entries too. Like you can get, you can get an understanding of the entry what happened on a four hour chart. So you won't have to keep back going back and forwards from one hour to four hour to 15. Just stay on one chart okay and challenge yourself all right um is it bad to trade three and five minute charts i mean it's not bad it's just hard you get faked out a lot so all right so the first thing is i'm going to back test during london session so what i need you to do is go to indicators right up here go to indicators and i want you to type in sessions and I want you to pick the one that says Vedas, 913 likes. Okay. I don't know why that always happened. Let me type in sessions. S-E-S-S. -S -S. Okay. So I got sessions on my chart. And I'm only going, you see how on my chart is it, it shows all the different colors. Okay? All the different colors, the, the red, the yellow, the green, and the blue. I don't want to see all of those sessions. This is a sessions indicator. I only want to see the session that I'm testing my strategy in. Okay? So take off New York, take off Asia, and only keep London. We're gonna make London white okay all right so can you back test my strategy james the forex prince 
um comment below what it is if it's simple enough i can do it if it's all complicated i'm sorry you gotta email me email me the complicated strategy if you have it and email me and i can make another video or a youtube live on it but if it's complicated i i can't really mess with that right now it's too complicated it, it'll slow my life down i can't slow it down for the people like that so here it is so let's go let's hit the replay button well, not the replay button, but let's just go back in time. All right. So we're going to start. Let's go back and start on March. Let's go January. Let's go January. Let's go February 1st. Boom. February 1st. So now, let me see, here's, let me see, February 1st. All right, here's February 1st, right up in here, February 1st. So here we go. So the moving average is basically when the blue line crossed below the white line, that's the, you got to have rules. When you, before you can back test, you got to have rules with whatever strategy you're trying to do. Moving average crossovers are simple, so I won't take long with this, and I'm going to go to something else, all right? Whenever the moving average cross below, you sell. Whenever the blue line cross, let me see. Yeah, whenever the blue line cross above the white one, we buy. All right, so look. All right, here's one crossover. Let's say we took the sale on this one. All right, let's say we took the sale on this one. Let's see how did it come out. This is our entry right here. All right, and then you're going to, I want you to see how many times it wins and loses. So boom, and it drops down. And let's go for 20 pips. Uh, 20, let's go for 30 pips. This is a one hour chart. So let's go for 30 pips. So when the line crossed, pretty much right here yeah I think the line crossed there boom so right here this is the entry right here you got let's see how many pips you got on that cross 25 pips was right here all right that's 25 pips right there so what's setting for what time frame? This is the one hour chart and the settings are nine and 20. Somebody wanted, somebody requested me. If you want me to back test your strategy or whatever you want me to back test, comment below. Somebody requested me to back test nine and 20 crossover. Okay, so that, that, that one won. All right, so now the moving average, uh, let's see here. The moving average crossed up again. But guess what? You see this blue area? We I mean this this black area, we do not trade in these areas. Right? Right here, look. No trade. Only London. This is going to get very interesting. No trade, only London. Okay? So now we have to wait and come all the way back over and here we go again. Okay, so 9 and 20. Here we go. Moving averages cross up again. And it crosses below. And pretty much, see, here's the thing. The moving average, the moving, but see, look. This is what I'm saying. This is going to get pretty interesting. Because you see how it came up? Let me replay this and show you what happened. You thinking that it's a sell or something like that, right? And then it comes up, and you're thinking, yo, it's about to cross over. It never crossed over. 20 and 9. The EMAs are 20 and 9. All right? So the moving averages get you in late. Now watch this next candle. There it go. It's pretty much back to where it is flat. It never crossed over. So this really was never a fake out. All right. This was never really a fake out because it never crossed up. Look at the replay. 
This is not my strategy for all the people that's just getting in. This is somebody requested this. The moving average is never crossed up yet. They the blue line, the 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 blue line never crossed over the white line. So that's you shouldn't be taking the buy there. But it came back down. All right. So if anything, you should be taking the sell because you got triple tops. You got all of this rejection right up here. Right? Now look at this. Do you see this right here? Look at this right here. You see this divergence? You see this diver? Uh, well, I don't know if it's divergence. But I think if I go to, if I was to go to the RSI, I think that this would be a divergence. Comment below if you think that this is a divergence or no, it's not a divergence. Comment below. Somebody talking about people that trade crossovers. Don't hate on them because every beginner trade like that. Every, uh, what's his name? Profit Walla Trades. Profit Walla Trades says, who trade crossovers? Laugh out loud. Don't talk about the newbies. Uh-uh. Don't do my newbies like that. Because when I first started and I was a newbie, I traded crossovers. It is not the best strategy. We all know that. But you can't tell a newbie that. A new person is going to trade the crossovers because it's like training wheels. Don't laugh at the new traders. Give them a break. That's why I'm making these videos to coach them, to teach them better. Okay, so don't don't be bashing don't be bashing the new people, man. I know you've been trading for a while, but don't bash the new traders. All right. So um, so y'all think it's divergence right there? Okay, let's go to the RSI. No. It's not it's not divergence. Right here, it's going up. So that's not divergence. But you know what? From here to here is hidden divergence. All right? From here to here, because look, the, the market kept going higher. So from here to here is the divergence right here. Y'all see it? So this is the divergence right here. This it, it, was, it wasn't these last peaks, but it was all three peaks. So here's the thing. You're, you're like, yo. You're like this. I cannot trade, I cannot hit sell as soon as I see divergence. Do not hit sell as soon as you see divergence. It's, it's, it's showing you, it's a sign, it's showing you, yo, something is turning around in the market. Something, it, the, the buyers are, are losing momentum. Possibly sellers are entering into the market. <clears throat> So you got to be on be on notice. This is a time where you probably want to pull your money out the market and sit on your money in your trading account and just watch and just watch the market transition. And you can see that there's pretty much triple tops, double tops going on right here. You feel me? It's double tops going on. So now what we do. Is pull a trend line up and wait for it to break. The bottom indicator is a four. I mean, as I said, it's a four X. <laughs> the bottom indicator is a RSI and it's a 14 close. So you wait for it to break. Let me replay it for you. I'm back testing right now. So look at this. All 
All right. So if any, so channel channel said, what is divergence? Divergence is when the market is going up, but the but the RSI indicator is showing that there is no more up momentum. The momentum is not going up anymore. It's losing steam according to the RSI indicator. But when you look at the candles, the candles are going up. If the if the market if the market is going up, but the RSI indicator is not following it, then we got divergence. It's not adding up. The RSI indicator and the candles are not adding up. The movement is not adding up. So you got to you got to think logical and say why all the time does the RSI follow price action? It always follow price action. When price action goes up, the RSI go up. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the RSI is no longer going up. You see what I'm saying? You got to think like, the RSI or whatever you use to trade divergence. I use the RSI. You can use the stochastic. You can use the MACD. I trade the RSI. So the RSI shows you momentum in the market. The RSI shows you when the market is overbought, oversold, overextended, and, and stuff like that. So all the time, the RSI is following price, but all of a sudden... During London session on a Wednesday morning, the market, the, the RSI is not following the candles. The candles are going up, but the RSI is going down. The candles are going up, but the RSI is going down. You got to think and be like, yo, nah, I shouldn't trade. I shouldn't trade right now. Something is changing. Momentum is changing. Okay. So channel channel. That's what divergence is really is saying that it's a it's a way to see the momentum shifting. It's a way to get a heads up. And the way that I trade divergence is I don't hit sell as soon as I see it. I put up that money line. Comment a hey, comment below. Hey, hashtag money line. That's the trend line for you for those who don't know. So do y'all see this trend line? Now, you could do an inner trend line right here because technically the market did go up. Technically, the market did go up, right? It did make a higher high. Right? Didn't the market make a higher high right here? Because look at this. Compared to this level, the market went up higher. Where did it come higher from? Where did where did this where did this move come from? It came from here. It came from right here. Let me let me let me put an arrow there. That 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 second push up came from that movement right there, that push right here. So therefore, I can put a trend line there. I can put a trend line right here. And I'm gonna put it right there on that wick. And I'm gonna draw it all the way through right here through this wick. Okay. So now when it breaks this trend line and this is this is the inner trend line let me put a note on there for you for because for those who come late you feel me they come in the class late hey for those who came late hey you get a spank on the wrist hey you got to show up to my class on time i'm just playing <laughs> you guys got better things to do than, than be talking to me i'm just trying to show people that want to know how to make this money i'm just trying to help those people you feel me so inner trend line all right that's the inner trend line and this 
This is the outer trend line. All right. While you guys are coming in, please get this video a like. Please get this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't because I'm just trying to help you make this money, baby. So once the once price broke this inner trend line during London session. Look, team, for those who don't know, we're back testing a strategy that somebody said in the comments. They they wanted me to back test the 9 and 20. Using the 9 and 20 alone is not good enough, baby. You got to add something to it. You got to add some sauce to it. So what we did was we found divergence surrounding the moving average crossover. Now all of a sudden, things is starting to make sense. So look at this. As price broke this inner trend line, the moving averages is about to cross over. So if you want to use the crossover method to, as training wheels for all my beginner people, use them. I did. And anybody that's hating on all my new people because they use it, well, I'm going to put you in timeout. <laughs> I ain't going to put you in timeout. But look, it's a real thing. So look, 